Low testosterone levels linked to higher risk of death. Meta-analysis of studies involving a total of over 24,000 men showed that low serum testosterone concentration is associated with an increased risk of death, mainly due to the development of cardiovascular diseases. Behind the research is a group of scientists from Australia, Europe and North America, led by researchers from the University of Western Australia. Scientists reviewed 11 studies covering over 24,000 participants to check the impact of testosterone levels on men's life expectancy. The research results were published in the journal, Annals of Internal Medicine. The studies followed the men for at least five years. The researchers found that the risk of death was greater in people with the lowest testosterone levels. Death most often occurred due to the development of cardiovascular diseases, which are the main cause of death in men around the world. Interestingly, the same process underlying heart disease may also contribute to erectile dysfunction. These often appear much earlier than symptoms of heart disease and can act as an early warning sign of existing or future heart problems. Testosterone levels usually decline with age. From around the age of 30, testosterone levels drop by approximately 1%. Annually, this decline is at least partly due to the slow decline in the ability of the testicles to produce testosterone and the weakening of the signals telling them to do so. However, other factors, including chronic diseases, can accelerate this decline. The analyzers showed that men with testosterone levels below 7.4 nmol, L, less than 213 nanograms per deciliter, had a higher overall risk of death. But men with testosterone concentrations below 5.3 nmol, L, less than 153 nanograms per deciliter, had a significantly higher risk of dying from cardiovascular causes. A limitation of the study is that it cannot determine whether low testosterone levels directly cause an increased risk of death. It may be that some disease causes lower testosterone levels. So low levels may be a marker of an underlying disease that increases the risk of death. This is especially important in the case of diseases involving long-term inflammation, such as obesity. The study authors cited situations occurring in patients with prostate cancer. Once the cancer has spread, the patient is given drugs that drastically lower testosterone levels. This treatment improves the patient's condition when it comes to prostate cancer, but increases the risk of heart attack and stroke. So, while low testosterone levels may be a marker of disease, to some extent they are also a contributing factor to the development of future disease and possible death. It is also problematic to determine what low testosterone levels are. Testosterone measurement alone may not give a complete picture of what level is appropriate for a given person. What is low for one may be good for another. Scientists use the average testosterone levels of many people from different populations to establish normal ranges. However, making such generalizations to the entire population is difficult.
A new meta-analysis suggests that the increased risk of death in men is seen mainly when testosterone levels are very low. Given the risks associated with low testosterone levels, many men are probably wondering if there is a way to prevent this and maintain healthy testosterone levels. Scientists indicate that you should lead a healthy lifestyle. Obese people should lose excess weight. However, when testosterone levels are too low, testosterone replacement therapy may be the solution.